Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, Bass Addict back in the garage uh, for a little bait unboxing. Haven't done one of these videos, but um, my mom just got back from Japan and she brought me a couple things and then I had some some stuff in the mail from Tackle Warehouse. So um, I thought I'd just do a little, little bait unboxing and show you guys what I got. So let's just jump straight into it and get to the the cool stuff first my little care package from japan um not sure who's familiar with tackle shops out there but there's this chain called tackleberry and there's a bunch scattered out throughout japan and they've got a bunch of tackle and they also carry like used used swim baits and used like fishing reels and stuff so um my mom picked me up this Shimano Scorpion XT um, 150 and it's an older model I don't know exactly what year but it's that older shape but it's got that that scorpion red color for anyone who's familiar with the scorpions they're always super super clean reels they've got that red kind of glitter so when you get them in the sun they just shine and it was only like 50 bucks so she was like sending me pictures of stuff seeing what i wanted and i saw this and i was like yeah i need that so it's pretty it's got a couple scratches on it but it's pretty buttery so i'm gonna probably spool it up today and and maybe i'll use it when i get out on the water tomorrow so we got that got a little sticker a little bass sticker Probably throw it on my water bottle or my fishing crate or something. And then we got a Jackal Mikey. Um, these, you can get these, or I think they sell the Mikey Jr. out here still in the US. But I think, I don't think they sell the regular size Mikey anymore, or they're really hard to get. Um, and I've never had one, but I know they get bit, especially out on the Delta. So. I saw this and I wanted to pick that one up. I could break that out the package. Just like a little three piece slender wake bait type of deal. It's a pretty loud bait. So, probably be throwing that next spring. And then tackle warehouse stuff. A lot of just miscellaneous stuff that I needed to stock up on. I got a little ski mask. It's getting pretty chilly out here, so definitely needed that for this colder weather. Picked up a Jackal TN70, one of my favorite flipless cranks. Another cool baits underspin. Um, yeah, these are all kind of like staple baits that I just like to fish so i needed needed another underspin lucky craft lv 500 another one of my favorite lipless cranks kind of an, a cool color it's like a ghost minnow but it's got some scale pattern on it so it's like a ghost minnow with some flash what else we got in here got some G Finesse, um, what are these? The Short Shank, Trebles, the Aaron Martins. These are, are what I put on my jerk baits, my Vision 110s and all that stuff. Cause they're, they're super sharp and they're light. Cause a lot of the hooks um, are too heavy to replace the Mega Bass hooks. And so your bait will sink. But those G Finesse, they're light enough that you can switch them out and the bait will still suspend so got a couple packs of those size six what we got. another cool bait half ounce other one's a quarter ounce so different depth ranges got some some more dobbins football jigs in my last video that i was catching them on that dobbins football jig this one is Mudcraw, kind of like a black and brown, 
with some watermelon red in there. So a good natural, natural color for this time of year. Got some Reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers to pair. Pair perfect with that jig. This time of year I like a trailer with not so much action. I don't want a lot of kick like I do in the summertime. So that Sweet Beaver is a good, a good bait. Couple more things in here. Um, what are these? Some Hayabusa trebles. I haven't tried these out, um, but I wanted to give these a shot for some of the bigger jerk baits. It's a similar hook to the G Finesse. It's got that same kind of coating on it, but these are size fives. So. Um, some of those bigger jerk baits that you can get away with the bigger hook. Be trying those out. Got another hog farmer, um, a rig bladed because I lost mine up at Clear Lake this past weekend. Um, got some BKK. These are another hook I haven't tried, but I've heard a lot of good things about BKK hooks. Those are size sixes, so we'll probably throw those on some jerk baits. Another TN70 and kind of an orange craw, brown orange color. We got this Duo Realis Vibration Nitro. It's another flipless crankbait. It's a thin one, so it's got a real tight wiggle, and I think it has a nice shimmy on the fall. So first time trying that one out. And then, what is this? Oh, Megabass Z3 Crank. It's like a mid diver. I think it gets down to probably like 10, 10 12 feet. Um, and that one's in like a, a green, orange, craw type of pattern. So. One of those cranks you can kind of slow roll on the bottom in that mid-range depth. Great bait this time of year. And then last but not least, I got some of these BKK Titan Diver Plus hooks. It's a fucking massive hook. Uh, but I have this Nate Spades trout. It's like a 10 inch trout. And I've been trying to rig it line through, but it's not, I can't get the hook to stay in the bait so i'm just ditching the line through deal and i'm gonna throw it on a weedless hook and so i got this 12 watt bkk and we'll see how that goes it's you can take the weight on and off um, and also the blade is you can remove the blade or keep the blade on so if you want the underspin i'll probably run it no no blade just keep it natural but Looking to throw that big, that big trout swimmer here soon. And try and break my PB before the year ends. And then you know, you make a tackle warehouse order, you gotta get the t-shirts. The so I think I got one of the short sleeves that comes free and then picked up one of the new long sleeves. I have like way too many of those, but it's five bucks. Like, might as well get it, so. Yeah, that's my little haul. Really excited about this this scorpion. This thing feels like butter. It looks sexy. And I just gotta figure out what rod I'm gonna put it on, but I'm definitely spooling that thing up. So, yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in on my little unboxing. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this kind of kind of video. It was a quick one. I didn't really dive too deep into the base. Just wanted to show y'all some of the things I picked up. A lot of stuff that's just um, stuff that I need for this time of year. Um, I've been throwing a lot of um, a lot of grass focused baits through the summer and spring and so moving into these quarter months my arsenal is a little different so I needed to stock up on some stuff but yeah thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.